congratulations on this series. I mean, if you were Game of Thrones fans, like, you were in the majority. I mean, ar around the water cooler, friends, like it was all anybody talked about. So, were you fans of the original Game yeah. of Thrones? Oh, I didn't watch it when it came out, I'll be honest about it. Okay. Um, I, but I did watch it during the lockdowns, because, you know, looking for things to watch. Yeah. And so, you know, we were kind of not quite halfway through it all, but and then I got the uh, the kind of call about this, and I thought, this is oh, interesting, wow. you know, nice timing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah th things right. like that happen to me, though. It's fortuitous. Yeah, it is very fortuitous. So, yeah, so, but I absolutely loved the show. I thought it was great. I thought it was, I don't even want to call it television. I think it's some of the best sort of work I'd ever seen within that framework. The lines between telly and cinema now are quite blurred, but I thought it was great. Each show is like a movie, you yeah. know? How about you? Oh yeah, I watched it. I watched it all in its entirety. I was, you know, I sort of tuned into it week in, week out, and then I'd miss bits and come back. But yeah, I was, I was a big fan of it. Okay, so I know we only have five minutes. So tell me about each of your characters, if you could. King Viserys Targaryen, first of his name, very good ruler, righteous man, handsome, loving, caring, compassionate, yeah. patient. Okay. Yeah. All good adjectives. Yeah. Do you want anything else? That's, that's about covered in. What you are. I play Damon Targaryen, who's a you know, dragon rider. Uh, uh, sort of dragon rider. He's a bit chaotic, a bit mad. Does what he wants. Free plays, spirit. Free spirit. <laughs> plays the beat of his own drum. He's got Ooh. long hair, short hair, mid length hair. Yeah. Yeah. He's, Cross uh, dresses. Doesn't that's he? it. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he's a bit mad. Now listen, the uh, the showrunner said that he wanted, there was no other choice to play Damon except for you because he loved you in The Crown. Really? This might seem like a weird question, but are there any similarities between Damon and, and Prince Philip? Well, Minus the murdery parts. Minus the, the murdery parts, yes. yeah. Well, yeah, there are, there's two. They're both blonde and they're both princes. That's and uh, Yeah, and is. they both have to walk sort of two steps behind the queen. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, and there's a lot of personality things that would come up from that, I would have to imagine. Uh, yes, probably, yeah. It, it felt odd, actually, in this. I sort of had to do a scene where I was kneeling when, when they crowned her, and I remember saying, oh, I, I felt like I'd played that beat in life. Do you know what I mean? I was like, but they wanted it in anyway. The second fiddle kind of thing, right? Yeah, 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 which is all right, but I mean, and it's slightly different in our world, because in this world at the moment, mm -hmm. because the, the way they crown people and who takes the throne is a whole other kind. Game of Thrones is known for its violence. What were some of those stabby scenes like for both of you? Did you get in on the violence that, that much? I'm a pacifist. You are Switzerland, yes. Yeah, well, no. Listen, no, I didn't know. I wasn't, I'm not a violent man. I have to contain my violence. Yep, you have to hide it. Yeah. yeah. You can't yeah. be a king and just go around swiping everyone's head off. Yeah. That's not very responsible. We get nowhere. Well, yeah, but you know, I, I, I'm not that kind of king. Mm-hmm. You're a good one. This is boring, sod. But the good ones, you know what they say, and the good ones of Game of Thrones, they don't last very long, so can we get used to you? <laughs> we'll have to see about that. Oh, yeah. oh, boy. And I think I've told you this before, I love you in those villainous roles. Oh, thank you very much. Do you have as much fun as we have mu uh, as much fun watching yeah. you? I love playing a villain. I think it's good. It's sort of, uh, there was a writer called Howard, Howard Brenton, I think it's called. He said, you, you sort of have to give your villains the best lines. And, and uh, not that I get that in this, really, but... I just think, yeah, I've always loved playing villains. Not that he's a straight villain, Damon. I think he's more than that. Okay. I think he's. I think there's there's more depth. He's more fragile than just being a sort of bad guy. Yeah. What are his motivations? Good question. Uh, I don't think he wants the throne. That that was a big question when we started the series, and the producers were like, "He wants the throne. Does he want the throne?" And I don't mm -hmm. think he does. I think he's just an agent of chaos. Okay. I think he's there to cause chaos, and he wants to cause conflict and arguments and disharmony, and that's mm -hmm. when he feels alive. And what's the king's motivation? Just all things good? Yeah, he's really boring. <laughs> tell me, tell me more. What's the what's the king's motivation? What does he want? In a perfect world. Just to keep peace in the kingdom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to go to war. It's, it's a time of peace and he wants to uphold that. That sounds very boring, but it's not an easy job. And it's not an easy journey when everybody around you wants you to go to war. And yeah. uh, you know, everybody's fighting for that throne, but Viserys knows that that throne is a cursed seat. And it's it, it's no it's not an easy job being king. It's not something that anybody would want really. It's quite insane to want to be a ruler because it's very very difficult and it corrupts your soul. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Isn't that what they say? Absolutely. I got that from the crown. So there you go. yeah, see it all. Comes there you go. It yeah. does. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.